Ever Sleeping was the map picked to be banned. Red Church is the map that you'll be playing on. It looks like survivors have picked Seer, Priestess, Journalist, and Dancer. And survivors that were banned was First Officer, Gardener, Merc, and Acrobat. Yeah. Um, interesting that they picked a Journalist. I imagine that the Opera Singer will be the first pick here. Um, since there is a Gardener ban. And Seer Priestess on Red Church. Seer is always really good, but like Priestess, if you are caught in like the wrong areas, Adam, it's not going to be like a great time for Priestess. But Dancer, I feel like if I just have to guess, I feel like they'll put Dancer over a graveyard or possibly over a um, wedding and then put Priestess all the way in church, which gives yeah. um, time to, you know, at least set up some support portals and such like that. The thing is, if it is an opera, that priestess won't have enough time to set up because no, true, if yeah. anything, she would be the best target to chase first. Hmm. Because the minute priestess is out of portals, there's not much she can do to prolong a kite. An opera moves much quicker than a priestess who can set up portals. Yeah, um, that's that, that, that's true. Yeah, um, definitely quite a downside to using priestess on such a small map like this um but they are going relatively strong again i'm not sure if picking journalists was the right call to be honest i think i would have preferred a gravekeeper since in my opinion journalist isn't journalist is not the greatest i mean she can be used decently if you know how to use her properly but like at the same time it's like there are definitely better rescuers you could have easily also gone for maybe a for possibly a forward rescue build you oh, could definitely. also yeah, like, again, with how difficult it is to stun an opera, you know, even in her little form, um, it's still better, in my opinion, than just going with a journalist. Since journalists can easily have her um, little Orpheus uh, wasted, if not used correctly. And the thing, too, with opera, she's very strong and cutting people off early. Yeah. To pull off a stuff, so she can easily just stuff that uh journalist going in for rescue. Hmm. And we are seeing here that uh, it looks like uh, Seer is going to be bringing flywheel. Uh, Priestess and female dancer are going to have broken windows, and the journalist, as expected, with Tide. So I'd say it's pretty standard. Um, I would have actually liked to possibly see Sia maybe go for a suicide build here. Yeah. To, um, definitely, uh, maximize the kiting ability, especially with his owls. Well, I don't know if you realize, too, uh, in a lot of, I believe, uh, Chinese gameplays and stuff like that, they start to run Sui builds against Opera. Just yeah. for her. The whole idea is that you just want to guarantee that one man out, so there's not a big point difference. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's probably the goal they're probably going with. Try and go, you know, as strong as you can at the very beginning. It looks like the opera swing uh, is going to be spawning on the top right, just above the seer. And I'd imagine they may just go straight for the priestess here. Most definitely. It's interesting that they put female over in a uh, middle broken. Mm. Because keep in mind, female dancer in slow boxes is a really good support. Definitely, if you put it in church, that allows them to have an easier way to get through church to rotate to a different. Um, they may there. place some portals down. They may start p placing down some slow boxes to maximize supporting potential here. So it could we could just see the female dancer rotating all the way into church just to place down that one small box uh yeah. over in the uh believe it's the one next to the window anyway we're going to begin started with the first round first half between ravens and uh mb and it looks like they are going for this uh seer here honestly i can understand why you went for seer first just mm. because he doesn't have that owl in the beginning of the match so that can allow her to get that hit early without worrying about that owl. Yeah, missed the uh, little bit here. And it looks like it's going to be a hit. Yeah, going to be the hit um, without the use of the owl there. Uh, got it from this opera singer here. And 
One second, we're going to be seeing the, uh, the chasing, um, literal just got a chase, and, and we're probably going to be seeing an owl out soon right about now. Yeah. And very, very good from the opera singer not to go instantly for the hit there and will go down straight away. And I believe that is basement as well. So we're going to be seeing a bait. Yeah, that's basement. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a basement chair over in church. Dang. Oh, she's trying oh, no, to take no the basement oh. because there's no, there's no really uh, any point to basement early. You want to sit there and pressure those ciphers and since she was close enough to chair that uh, fear on a cipher machine to stop that progress and it's abnormal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is this is a very popular build. Um, abnormal again, like you said, it just, it's just going to pressure those ciphers very, very nicely. And I believe that cipher has gone down, I would imagine, to like uh, roughly about, let's say, 10, 20 percent roughly. From what was originally good hit from this uh opposite here can they get it before half they can't get it before half and that's gonna be uh gonna be the hit on Sia. Sia is gonna be dead on chair yeah oh, full presence full now. yeah honestly though it was a good call to bring uh abnormal and opera against this comp just because they do have the ability to cipher rusher they all have really good decoding mm. The only time journalist uh, falls under not having good decoding is when all her orc bees get hit. Even just yeah. one hit, it really does uh, hurt her decoding progress. I that journalist, and it looks like they are going to be going straight for where the journalist is. Journalist getting a uh, very clear communication on the fact that the opera singer is coming for the horns and you know just going to be avoiding the uh, little orpheus there already making sure that they're going to be trying to get the down onto this journalist here and yeah it's just oh good juke from this journalist but it's going to be the hit straight away Seems this is not looking well for the survivor side. They're still going to be down at least two ciphers. I don't know if journalist did finish off her cipher. I think priestess finished off her cipher for her. Oh, looks like they. Oh, going to be a free hit for this um, opera singer here. They might actually. Yeah, no, they're going to go back. Um, that's it, that's they don't want to allow that rescue to come through. Yeah, that's it. That's a good call. Going to get the hit straight away onto this. Uh, Oh, are they gonna they're gonna get the hit onto priestess i'm not entirely too sure why priestess went for it but it's got a bit greedy for uh, that portal <laughs> yeah a little too greedy and now that's gonna result in a very likely double down here and and i get the hit yeah it's gonna be a double down here uh very unfortunate for this journalist not to you know make too much distance but again even if they made you know a lot of distance that obviously could here. easily get back up <laughs> priestess decides to use her self heal very quickly and uh yeah gonna be heading back through that one portal they placed over there and yeah so far it's not looking um too good for the survivor side looks like uh i mean pretty standard for opposite games probably gonna be a 4k i'd imagine yeah and uh Looks like they have switched to her ball. Going to be uh, going over to the female dancer cipher. And Priestess is going to try and make... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, got a little confused there. Going to be doing that middle cipher in church. And now going to be... Uh, placing down those slow boxes. And Priestess. Good pals on from the Priestess here. I mean, sorry, the female dancer. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, I, oh, right. oh, my. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a very quick down. And now we are most likely going to be seeing the... Uh... Yeah, definitely going to be leaving them there. It's the fact, too, that this opera can afford to play the slugging game. Just because yeah. they know Priestess does not have self-pickup, so they can't afford to lead that female dancer to use self-pickup. Because no matter what, once they down that Priestess, there's not much dancer can do. Yeah. <laughs> Choosing not to go through the portal, though. Um, 
That's interesting. All right, female dancer is now back up. None of them have uh, self heals anymore, so this could be a you know very interesting game here. And it looks like oh the priestess actually messed up that portal there. Um, not going completely out, and uh, yeah, it looks like priestess is gonna go back down here and. Roughly nearly 10 seconds before teleport is up and priestess, I mean, sorry, female dancer is uh, already running away from ciphers. Um, try not to let any of those ciphers shake uh, as it looks like to be in a deadlock position here. I mean, if dancer really wanted to, she has no more boxes on her. She could search a chest to, fi to uh, find an item. Yeah, uh, although it looks like the female dancer is actually going to try and go for the heal onto the priestess. It's just whether this opposite is going to catch up in time. And it looks like not just in time, but both of these uh, characters are in the same location. How far I can go? Oh. A little bit on there. Yeah, down. And that is going to be the 4K for Ravens. As we either wait for a surrender or they're just gonna. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I gotta say, I'm quite not surprised an offer was a first round pick. Definitely on Red Church. Yeah. I mean, literally just built for small maps like that. <laughs> Pretty much. And then again, the opposite is just also built for big maps as well. Literally just one of the most. I'm I mean, not say broken, but like definitely very, very good. There, there's certain big maps that she wouldn't really do well. I think only Moonlit is a map that she could struggle on to the fact yeah. that there's not that many things that she could like go into her shadow form onto to get those speed boosts. And yeah. if she doesn't have presence and that that map could be like a downfall for her. But besides that, she's pretty strong in the rest. Yeah, definitely. Um Level we'll see an opera singer on the side of MB is gonna be uh gonna be interesting. I don't remember who the hunter is. I think it might be I believe it's Tex. Yeah, I think so. I'm not oh. sure. I don't recall what Tex plays. I, I know I'm familiar with them, but I don't remember what hunters they play. Hmm. Um Although Oh no, it looks like it's gonna be person called Joey. Oh, Joey's gonna be hunters. Yeah, by the looks of things, yeah. Oh, okay. I assume you have an idea of who they play, because I don't know them at all, so... Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna be quite a surprise for the both of us then, I imagine. I would imagine they play Mad-Eyes. Nah, honestly, someone did play Mad-Eyes in this tournament, and yeah. It was rough for that survivor side, let's put it. To be fair, the survivor side actually didn't do that badly. Uh, it was KJS versus Yuvia, I think. I don't. I have to. Oh, let me check back. I know you. Yeah, it was KJS versus Yuvia, yeah. Um, played Mad Eyes on Church, I believe, and KJS actually did pretty solid in the early game, but it all just fell apart um, in the late game. And interesting. Yeah, it looks like uh, we are going to be getting into the picks and bans shortly as everyone is getting into that uh, lobby. You know what survivor I want to see get played? Who? Mind's Eye. I think I played Mind's Eye in the tournament. Um, it was at the very beginning against uh, Trendsetters. I... Played as Mind's Eye, and I went Flywheel Mind's Eye, and I don't actually remember what happened. I think we got a tie because I just didn't you pop the cipher. <laughs> I just didn't pop the cipher. I was like, "Yeah, it'll be fine." But um, yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't imagine Mind's Eye would be picked unless they are really, really ahead or really confident. But I know there are definitely some Mind's Eye players in the tournaments, especially on um, AC, where there's two Mind's Eye players, I'm pretty sure, so. 
I'm, I'm just a your friendly neighborhood mind's eye main, you know. <laughs> uh, honestly, if mind's eye wasn't so bad, she'd actually be decent. But then again, that's for yeah. every character who's bad. But like, what does it mean leaking the info? Bro, it should be common knowledge. Come on now. Anyway, um, yeah, as um, I was saying, what was I saying again? Mine's eye, yeah. Um, mine's eye's just not good. Like, the coding is good, but like, everything else about it is just awful. Well, I mean, definitely in this meta now, when you have hunters like Nightwatch and Opera, oh, Mind's yeah. Eye isn't really going to exceed well. Yeah, I mean, she did get a... It was a weird one. It was like, it was more of an adjustment rather than the so They basically buff. decreased her decoding a bit. They increased her vault and speed yeah. a bit, I believe. And then plus it she was... has the ability to get a speed boost when she goes from a crouching or yeah. walk to a run. Which I think it's okay. Yeah. It depends really on the situation. I just feel like too, if you're like trying to slow vault something so the hunter doesn't hear or see you, it kind of screws you over because then you use that up and you don't want to. Mm. And then you are on that, like I believe it was like 40 seconds of a cooldown. So you have to wait for that trait to come back up. Yeah. Um, with the... Uh, the values of that, I think... Um, I think the values uh, for the, you know, vault and speed increase went up to 23% from 30% decrease in vault and speed. And then it went from 30 to 23% decoding speed uh, and increase. Then, plus, if you keep in mind, if you run the, uh, if you run towards uh, broken windows, you also get that little thing that increases your vault and speed. Yeah, plus, with yeah. the adjustment, when you do go from that crouch to a run, it does increase her vaulting as well. Hmm. Um, so it looks like we are going to be getting one of the bands, and it is going to be Sia. Um, not surprising. And I think the next man is going to be Priestess, but they've spelled it wrong. Anyway, um... <laughs> but, yeah. So it is going to be Sia Priestess either way. Um... I'd imagine that they would really want to go strong here, uh, Ravens, just to increase that lead even more. And yeah, they're going to go anti-psychologist. Uh, very wrong characters, especially on a map like Red Church, where Antiquarian can literally just hit the Hunter into any single wall possible. Uh, psychologist takes three hits to go down, can easily Wi-Fi heal, can the literally, wifi. yeah, literally do anything. <laughs> It's interesting too, because uh, when MV was playing Survivors, they were instantly they instantly picked that priestess and seer. They like locked them in. Yeah, that the was thing a is, like, yeah. I don't mind if you lock in strong characters first, but you want to be confident enough that if you're gonna throw away two strong characters in the start, that you're going to guarantee at least a tie to know it was worth it. Yeah, um, that's gonna be global ban for them as well. So, so they no longer have priestess and seer. That means now they, with ravens go the hunt again. They don't have to worry about banning those. Yeah, anymore. they could they could go for you know other bands depending on maps. Like if you're gonna go for a Chinatown pick, you can ban that toy merchant very easily. You can ban that mercenary very easily. It's just, it's really, it's a bit of a drafting fault, I think, uh, from them. I think they they imagined that maybe they could, you know, try and do something here. But really, they could have maybe gone with a lawyer rather than yeah. maybe a seer. You know, get rid of the lawyer. You know, because lawyer, as much as he is very good against opera singer, against other hunters, not as great, but can See, still the be only useful. Thing, yeah, so the only thing that can come useful out of a lawyer in the later rounds is the fact that he can help uh, with the rotation. Mm. As well as if he gets later chase... Keep in mind, this is a warrior who most likely built up his speed, so he's gonna have his little like extra yeah. speed boost on him. And we are gonna be seeing a forward ban, which I'll be honest, I'm not too sure why they banned forward when the antiquarian was already picked out, and that literally just you know allows uh ravens to pick that first officer very nicely. Um, first officer, especially in recent times, actually got up in. Uh, usage a lot more uh, considering the fact that I mean, with the Merc nerf I mean, 
I would say Merc and First Officer are somewhat even now in terms but, of in terms of like how good they are. The Obviously is, First Officer still has his like thing. Oh, let's go on. Uh, when it comes to the side between a Merc and First Officer, the thing you would have to realize too is that First Officer actually performs better on the smaller maps than a Merc mm. would. And Merc is better picked for the bigger maps. Yeah. When it comes to doing First Officer first round, which First Officers mainly pick every round if Merc is banned, it's the fact that you're preparing for that opera. Opera yeah. can pretty much deal with a Merc easily because she can go and hit him early. And then as he tries to elbow pad in, she can just like teleport back and hit him again. Mm. As for First Officer, he has that pocket watch to where he can go invisible and have that illusion. It's not that easy to try to hit him when he's doing that. So it allows yeah. him to go in for rescue much easier without worrying about taking that early hit. Hmm. Yeah. Um, literally, I'd imagine they are probably picking that first officer to make sure that, uh, especially with this being a small map, if it is that opposite, uh, they can get, you know, a, a, a very much easier time rescuing him. Um, as well as... You know, if they are chitin, uh, can get out of that, you know, sticky situation for a period of time. So, gonna be interesting. And I don't know if we've, um, no, we... no I don't think we have got the final man just yet. Not yet. It's gonna be end ban. Okay. Um, it's interesting they've banned entomologist. Um oh, oh wait. They're taking it back. Oh, prospect prospector? I feel like entomologist would have actually been better to ban. Maybe they're going for a hunter who doesn't like a lot of um A lot of uh, harassment so the only one i would see wanting to get rid of a forward and a prospector it's leaning more towards like a clerk yeah the thing is still they allow that anti out so they have to be confident enough to deal with an anti yeah they're just gonna pick gardener um unless they're really not a fan of the uh you know the prospector and forward support um Maybe they're still gonna pick Opera Singer just to try and get rid of all that harassment, but even still you You've still got the Antiquarium within that game, so I'm not really too sure about these bands per se. I feel like I honestly uh, don't found it at some of these picks here in this band. <laughs> yeah, like the picks from Raven's side, it makes sense. They're expecting yeah, then, an opera singer. Yeah, and they want to go strong, but with these bands, on the other hand, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a fault from this hunter here, who I would argue should have just banned that entomologist instead, get at least rid of one of the kiters. Um, you know, even an acrobat ban, that would have been fine. Like, it would be understandable because, you yeah. know, Akbar can be pretty strong in a lot of maps. He has really good kind of potential and his bombs can be annoying if they're used uh, correctly. Oh, 100%, yeah. But, yeah, maybe they might go for that clerk. Maybe, you know, even a hun another hunter who doesn't do well against, you know, support. I mean... You'd have to go really far to even say over hunters, but like Claire comes to mind. Sometimes even Nightmare comes to mind. But like uh, I wouldn't think they would go Nightmare, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean if they go Nightmare, I'll be shocked. I'll be happy. I, I'll be on the floor. I'll be happy, because I <laughs> love Nightmare, but I'll be shocked because Nightmare, arguably the worst hunter in the game. Um even still after his like little buff that he had, but it's I don't know. It, it's it's really weird. 
It is. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Because the thing is, right? Red Church, it's not that bad of a map for a clerk to be played on. If it is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like the only the only things that I would be a little bit worried about for the clerk is just the amount of walls that are there. I mean, and they're gonna ban. I'm sorry, not gonna. They're gonna pick Opera Singer. That is strange. Um, for the reasons that we mentioned before, why ban the four within the Prospector when you could easily. When it comes to harassers, they have they're going against a composition that just completely dominates against an opera singer if they are coordinated enough. And against a team like Ravens, you really don't want to give them those options, and they've got those options already. And it could be a rough game for this um, opera singer here, but either way. It's going to be an interesting game for sure. Yeah, keep in mind, they also, I didn't think we mentioned this, but they did lock in that gardener. Yeah. And if, if for everyone who knows, it's literally you're going to see a gardener in Lawyer, or you're going to see what are the other first round against an opera just because they I mean, are better we've recently against. seen Magician first round against Opera Singer. Um, he can work well against her. Yeah. I have uh, noticed that myself recently. Yeah, There's that's also the only... a chance of coordinator being picked the first round against Lucky Opera. guy as well. That's another one I just remembered. Um, yeah, even against these um, survivors, um, Opera Singer could have a tough time here. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> well, we never know. This Opera Singer might just surprise us. Yeah, you never know. Um, we'll definitely have to wait and see. I'd imagine they'll uh, put first officer over in wedding or in middle broken. Or so other... everyone has broken windows, and then prospector has tied. What do you mean, first officer? First officer has tied, and then everyone else has broken windows. And I'm surprised because anti normally uh has flywheel since they're a yeah. harasser, but surprisingly, Anti's also um, running broken windows. Yeah. Um, I feel like they're confident enough not to go with flywheel in this situation. I feel like they'll want to prioritize the um, the movement speed over, you know, the reassurance of flywheel, you know, not being able to get hit by it. So yeah, I'd imagine that's what they are going for here as we are going to be heading into the uh, second half of the first round where the MB Hunter needs to get a 4k to uh, secure the, the overall tie here. The interesting thing too is the spawn. So the fact that they put First Officer at a God Palette is saying that they're going to want to try to force that kite onto him or onto the yeah. Psychologist just because those two can... Psychologist can tank those hits while kited and then First Officer has those watches to use to buy enough time yeah um definitely gonna pull either one of them and it looks like they are gonna go for all that psychologist probably the better chase out of the two here as um yeah psychologist instantly rotating away from the area here as it looks like they are just yep yeah, now uh seeking the trail here and it looks like they're going to be catching up. Gets the hit onto the uh, Psychologist. Psychologist probably not expecting the uh, Opera Singer to go straight through there. Just and now, yeah, now going to be getting that Pallet Stun here. The thing is, too, right, once you get a read in on the Hunter, if they're going to come through the Pallet or not, it's pretty much a GG. Then you know if you're going to hit them. Yo oh, oh, Terror Shock! The terror shock. Oh my god! But keep in mind that Psychologist does still have stress. If they really wanted to, they can send someone who doesn't have tied for that rescue. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Garner who's going to come in for that rescue here to uh, make sure they do get that stress back. And um, yeah, that's very unfortunate for the Psychologist here, um, who also bring an abnormal yeah, as well, normal. the usual, and has spotted out this... Uh, Oh, they missed the hit. 
just went straight through this um guard is here. Gardner not going for rescue? Oh no, God. now she is. Yeah, not yeah, now she's she buying is, a bit yeah. time. Yep, yeah, gonna and get I believe the hit that rescue Gardner. was before half. Yeah, I, I think that was, yeah. And it looks like uh, the Antiquarian is going to come in for the uh, extra support as well. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to do five seconds of this army here as... Oh, they've actually messed up the, um, the little uh, pounce there. And it looks like, yeah, once again, again, Antiquarian getting too close uh, to this uh, opera singer here. Not the greatest job from that Antiquarian at that point in time, but... It looks like they might have actually lost the Not antiquary. Sure. I mean, sorry, the uh, psychologist here. The hunter lost everyone. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess the antiquary did actually put them in a daze. But looks like they are going to be heading back over to Middle Broken, going straight to foot First Broken here, as they are going to be going after this, uh, the antiquary here. Looks like, yeah, just going to be playing a little bit of mind games. And yet, there you go. There's the... Uh, Eight seconds of Samia could go for an another one on the uh, left here. Probably, if they really want to. Uh, yep. Oh, uh, not gonna get it though. And yeah, just gonna go straight into that corner. But it was the right call to die in that corner. They knew that if anything, if they miss that swing, they have enough distance to buy a bit of time before they get cheered. Yeah, and it uh, looks like Garner might be able to. No, won't be able to finish her cipher and. They will going... get abnormal again, too. Yeah. Unless she's just going to commit to this gardener. Yeah, it looks like they are going to commit to the gardener. And I'd imagine they would go for it. Uh, looks like they are going to get the double down onto this. And it looks like... Uh, interesting. Pablo's actually used his watch there. Um, I'd I think imagine... they wanted to try to confuse them or something, but I'm not sure. It also could be the fact that maybe they're going for the extra decoding speed at endgame. For like that last cipher. That's the only thing I can really think of there. Um, but they did get that uh, cipher popped and it looks like uh, Pablo is going to come in for another rescue, I'd imagine. Yeah, one cipher remaining. And yep, they are. it looks like they are going to come in for that uh, rescue. Psychologist uh, and Garner doing separate ciphers as well, and uh, looks like are it's be honestly a good idea to split up the ciphers just because of the uh, switch to the teleport. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be heading back. Can they get the hit? Yes, they can. They're going to get at least one person sent back to that manor here. And uh, what's the teleport? Um, no longer up for them. Eighty seconds left as both ciphers are being uh, decoded here. And it looks like they are going to go to the psychologist cipher. Uh, good from the uh, first officer here, actually, to communicate and be in such a position where they can communicate. Can they get the hit? They will get the hit. As I'd imagine once they get the uh, cipher fully primed, they'll just pop it, um, knowing the condition that they just need one person out to win the round. Although I think they're going to pop it right about now. Yep, they are. And so looks like Psychol just going the chase. That tie, though. Yeah. Gonna try and need to get that tie here. It looks like um the dungeon is over at first bro broken as well. So can I get the hit? Yep, they'll be able to get the hit. But with the uh gate already open, it is gonna be a tie for for MB's Hunter. Not a not a um Ah, uh, what's the word? Well, they didn't have a bad start, I can tell you that for a fact. Definitely after yeah. and that narrow shock and psychologist. It's just a shame they did end up losing them for uh, a few seconds later. Yeah. Um, you know, not, not a bad start for the Hunter. Um, you know, definitely, you know, expected, you know, I'd say. Um, after the position they were put in, especially when they lost the psychologist here. So... It is currently 7-2 to two in favor of Ravens. Ravens has won round one, as we're going to be waiting to see what the next map is going to be. And I believe MB is going to be picking this map, and uh, Ravens going to be mining a map. Alright, well, let's see. 
I, th I still think it's interesting, though, that Opera did those bands and then played into the comp that she did. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. So they are going to be banning Leo's memory here. Um, I mean, it's not surprising. I found that a lot of people don't really like the map. I like the map, personally. I do too, but... honestly. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it looks like... We're going to be seeing what map it'll be. I imagine maybe they might go for... Probably like a Chinatown or a lakeside if they really want to try and, you know, go for anything, really. That's the only thing I can really think of in this situation. You played quite such a close quarters map. Why not just go for an open, you know, map, you know, like yeah. that's what I would do. I, but... I really think the best bet is to go for that Chinatown map, if anything. Yeah. But it really does depend too on what their hunters can play that they feel the most comfortable on bringing like onto a Chinatown. And if they don't want a Chinatown, then they got Lakeside. Oh, yeah. But at this point, I think Chinatown's the better pick over Lakeside. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they are going to be um, discussing it. They picked arms. Okay, arms factory. Um, I can understand it. It is quite a balanced map. Maybe they want to go for a map that will help the survivors out. Also, hi Vivi. Hello. Anyway, um, but yeah, I imagine that that is the idea here. Try and go for a more uh, balanced map so that the survivors can have a little more room to work with, but... Yeah. Like I always say, when it comes mm. to picking Arms Factory or Red Church, it's like a 50-50 on which side will win. Yeah. And I assume we're going to be waiting as well to see what faction they're going to start out with here. Um, I imagine I you sh I reckon go Hunter first, maybe? That's what I was going to say. It's always yeah. better, definitely, if you're down those points. It's better to just try to send your Hunter first so they can make up the points. Yeah. Um, but will they go Hunter first is the question. And yeah, they are going to go yeah. Hunter first as, you know, what we expected here. Now, I also wonder, though, are they going to do the respect ban and ban that opera singer, or are they going to allow that opera out again? They should ban the opera singer. I well, mean, definitely on a map like ARMS, she does excel yeah. on that. Yeah, I mean, I imagine it's going to be a forward and a... Okay, forward makes sense. Uh... Yeah, I believe that is the... Uh global bands for ravens so the global bands like I mentioned before it's antiquarian and psychologist it looks like the two bands from the uh, oh pardon me, um is gonna be forward and see yeah, there you go um i'd say it's expected um especially on this map um yeah. see her again just good and forward um also pretty solid on this map, I'd say. Um, again, Antiquarian is always going to be better, but since it is global banned, you can just ban that forward very easily. They still do have a lot of strong characters that they could pick on this map. Mm. You know, they can always, if they wanted to, 
they do have that prospector if they really wanted to use him. There's Batter. I know Batter doesn't get used a lot, but he could be uh, good on this map since it is small, so it's not that hard for him to get it. Oh, yeah. Help support. Yeah. Um, they also have like other characters, like support characters, like Female Dancer. They have Entil they could bring. Mm. Or maybe even bring a barmaid, especially if they want to go for heals as well. Um, it looks like um, yeah, we're still going to be waiting on the uh, two picks. They could always also have like a composer. I know I noticed that uh, yesterday. Uh, the teams are bringing up composer a lot. Yeah. Um, composer, I'd say, is okay. And it looks like they're going to be picking uh, Lawyer and Mercenary, and they're going to be banning that Opera Singer as they should. I mean, Opera Singer is just really good. Um, bring out the Lawyer and the there. Merc, though. Uh, Merc makes sense, and Lawyer in recent times is actually you know just gone up completely literally a glow up literally just a complete he glow became, up he just became what you want every decoder to be at this exactly. point exactly <laughs> yeah exactly and the fact that you can't get terror shocked either it's that's even better part. even better so um yeah that's, no. that's why you see lawyers be brought out a lot round one if it's opera just because he's not afraid of a terror shock he'll look at you and laugh you in the face as you mm. pick him when he vaults yeah yeah, exactly. Um, I imagine we are going to be seeing the next ban very soon. I do think it's interesting, though, that they did block that Merc first, but they do have a lot of other rescuers to their roster they could use after getting rid of that Merc. I understand Team wanted to lock in that rescuer mm. before uh, they ban him. But from the looks of it, they're just gonna pick strong and characters because they want the prospector wanna... again. Not the prospector. It's a hate crime at this point. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can ban prospector in this situation. There are no, you know, harassers in that team comp. But even still, you're allowing the likes of female dancer, barmaid, the um, oh, what's an another one? I'm. I can't remember exactly, but like, you're still allowing those um, characters to come through here, and it's just, I don't know, it's not a... Um, I don't know, thing it doesn't... I feel like, too, is that you don't really have to keep in in harassers, because you don't have to worry about harassers coming out if the team wasn't, like, strongly, like, for harassers. They still have a lot of those... Uh, support characters like Ento, female. Yeah. That can really excel at being annoying. Yeah, I mean, Entomologist would be actually the perfect pick here, in my opinion. Yeah. If they really want to go for both kiting ability. Although, coordinated work as well. Um, yeah, so. Good. Be picking that coordinate. So, a little bit of um, slow decoding. Um, I mean, yeah. her decoding's not bad until someone gets put on that chair and then it, it yeah. goes downhill. Yeah, um, so yeah, I imagine that they're going to be focusing on, you know, going for that next harasser in coordinator, and next one I'd imagine they just go for, you know, someone with a little bit of passive support, like a female dancer or a barmaid, and we're going to be seeing uh, what this hunter will be banning but next. They're most likely picking these characters because what they want to try to do is they want to guarantee that they can get a win. Mm. Three manner get that tie. They do not want that one man because they they're trying. I'm pretty sure they're trying to end this game. This oh yeah, round. yeah. They want to end it in two rounds. They don't want to go to a third round. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they ban here. They've had some very interesting bans uh, in the last uh, couple of bits here. Uh... Oh. Yeah, and he doesn't even know. Oh, they banned into mods. Okay, this is actually a very professor. good ban. Professor! Go... Yeah, going straight for that professor. I think this is actually really good for Ravens here. Um, professor, um, although hasn't really seen like a lot of playtime 
you know, in recent times. I remember there was one point where he was getting, not picked constantly, but he was getting picked as like a, a good, you know, first round alternative. If someone did get banned, could easily use him with Firewheel, could easily use him with Tide. Like, probably one of the more versatile characters they could easily bring. You can literally yeah. play him in any sort of role. That That's how uh, versatile he is. But again, with other characters being involved, he's not as good as said characters. And especially with his nerf, where now only one scale is on the map. At, yeah, at I don't form. understand why they did that. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's to secure that tie. I think Professor is, you know, decent in securing a tie, especially if you can get those scales off very easily. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that's the only thing they're going for. Yeah, I don't imagine that they really go. Yeah, and they're going to go for Clerk. Go for okay, clear. so yeah, I think that's why they definitely ban the forward and the Prospector here. Um, although yeah, into this, they have an anti, but the problem is they still. The clerk is a single hit hunter, you know, yeah. you, have, you have a professor who can deal with that with his scales. And then, of course, you have that flare gun from that yeah. horde coming in that's going to be annoying to deal with. And then, of course, what else? We got that lawyer who's just going to out vault. Because last time I checked, lawyer will out vault your vaulting uh, recordings. I've done it before. Yeah. Especially if he gets it up to, what is it, 12% is his max? Oh, I believe so. Yeah, I don't remember the exact amount, but I imagine that is what it is. And yeah, we're going to be seeing the flywheel on that professor as well as coordinator, the um, broken windows on the lawyer, and of course, the mercenary with that tide. As, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be very interesting to see what um, this clerk can do against a team who... Although, once Coordinator does lose a stun gun, there isn't really much support to be had. I'd imagine like, that it's still going to be tough, yeah. you know, to get any hits in. You know, unless you really go really hard for this lawyer here. The thing is, uh, lawyer... Some, some hunters just won't go for lawyer, definitely, if he's in a very strong Titan area, because then you're not catching him for a while. Hmm. And like I said, once he starts building up his stuff, you're never catching him after that. Yeah. The movement speed, the vaulting speed, even the decoding speed, it's... Yeah, he could become an absolute menace if He's he a isn't... <laughs> yeah, could literally become... Might as well be another hunter at this point, honestly. Um but yeah, we are going to be getting into the second round and the first half. It is going to be the MB Hunter versus the Raven Survivors. As, um, I wonder what's going that. Anyway, um, yeah, going to be going for the, yeah, going to be going for the lawyer. Oh, getting a little stuck there. Um, imagine they are going for the lawyer first. I Unless think Lawyer they... rotated out of that area, actually. Yeah, it looks like they might be going for Professor then. Uh, they do spot the uh, trail really quickly. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they are going to be going for the Professor first. Um, it's going to be interesting. We'll be doing a vault and recording there. As... Oh, he, he tricked her thinking that he went around too. I like that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just going to be... Well, they begin. Oh, gone for the charge attack, but the um, animation for that uh, little uh, scale there uh, works in his favor. As and he helped vaulted the vault. And... <laughs> yep. I think when it comes to the clerk, if you can't time the like pages right, oh, go that's well. gonna really be her downfall. Yeah. Uh, oh, and that's gonna be a pallet stun as well. We'll get the the pallet drop recording, but it's gonna be for absolutely nothing there as they are stunned here at the moment gonna get that hit with the blink but unfortunately again blink now used up they're not gonna have much um to do here gonna record the lawyer here as uh it looks like okay this is um yeah what i've just noticed here they don't have confined space 
I imagine they've gone for a trump card build here. We'll get the hit now, but once again, one cipher has already been decoded. Mercenary cipher <laughs> is almost done. Lawyer cipher is almost done too. This isn't really a good position for a clerk, unless clerk can try and get a terror shock here, in which there may be, you know, can you put in a bad position. The thing is too, like, uh, a lot of people always say is clerk, it, she struggles pretty badly like at the beginning of the game mm -hmm. if that first kite is really good there's not much a clerk can do to recover unless they snowball somehow yeah and the minute clerk gets first presence where she can sit there and record the ciphers when they're decoded that's when things start to really work in her favor yeah once again uh the stone gun popping off there as the coordinator is going to be going for that body block uh, as well as the lawyer who's going to be going for a body block too this is interesting um yeah the lawyer's just going to get hit there and i imagine they're just going to chase the lawyer now or maybe not no they're not they're focusing on that professor i think i don't know it's interesting we'll get the volume recording there but yeah are they gonna We'll get the hit onto the coordinator now. Probably didn't expect the uh, clerk to have that here. We'll be going for a little bit of a red light trick there. Oh, oh and, and they actually worked. did fall for the light, red light trick, yeah. And, and that no is one can be... rescue. Yeah. The only person who could realistically rescue is that mercenary, but it would also mean a possible double down situation here. As it looks like they might try and go for one of the hits. No, I, I really do feel like that lawyer should have not gone into that body block. Yeah, that was um, a little bit silly, I'd say. Yeah, it looks like the mercenary Merc is, is going for that backdoor rescue. rescue. We'll get that backdoor rescue very nicely. Yeah, the Merc's just going to stay there. there. There's no reason for the Merc to move now. Yeah, and, and the professor's just going to be long gone now. Realistically, I think maybe cheer the mercenary i don't know unless they're gonna go for these two survivors here now yeah we're in a situation where it's just a cat and mouse game though and clark does have blink back oh yeah that's true can they get the blink hit yep they will get the blink hit and it looks like um we'll get that recording onto the coordinator and we'll be chairing the lawyer this time the, the thing is, though, I think it might just turn around and still be a winner tie on the survivor side just because they lost that professor. Yeah. And that cypher in middle... Oh, a bit of a is... wasted scale there. Um, Coordinator now going to be chaired once again. This is um, where things could turn really interesting. Uh, lawyer cypher close to popping. Uh, literally just about to pop right now. And um, Cord was just cheered on the last cipher that has a lot of progress. Oh, that's true, yeah. I mean, if they really wanted to, they could switch to abnormal if they do have trump card, but I'm not sure if they want to go for that. We'll get the hit onto this mercenary now, going in for that rescue, and can they get the... We'll hit the coordinator with that um, crazy hitbox, and that's going to be a double down, and... Realistically now, that could be a double chair, and all of a sudden, this could actually be a tied position for this, uh, uh, the clerk here. It could honestly turn more into a win for clerk. Oh, yeah. Because now the survivors have to take time to kill one person and still try to push Cypher. And Cord, just, she does die slowly on chair, but I don't think they're making it for that rescue on her. Yeah, I don't think they want to go for it just yet. It looks like Lawyer is actually going to be coming in for the Mercenary, uh, possibly. Because, I, yeah, I don't think they're going to be making it. Yeah, this is where it, this is where it gets really good for Clerk. Um, three down at one Cypher. No, sorry, three survivors left at one Cypher. I mean, um, yeah, this is going to be... Yeah, this could be really good for Clerk here. I mean, what they could do is they can split ciphers, but the problem is they need to get away from this area. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, I've got to get the hit onto the clerk again. And... I imagine what they could do if they really wanted to. Although, 
It looks like, oh sorry, it looks like they are gonna go for that lawyer now. I mean, Claire can afford to go and chase lawyers because they also have blank backup once again. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Um, <laughs> That's how long it's been going, they got blank up for the third time. Yeah, oh, gonna be using that scale, but unfortunately it's just not gonna be working out too well and lawyer is gonna be placed back on that chair professor cypher over at 50 percent now as we are probably uh yeah gonna be recording it once again can mercenary get back up in time is the question um and they will get back up in time and uh it looks like Nursery might actually just uh, decode that cipher, try and go for a bit of double decoding here for, between the two different ciphers. And Mercenary, uh, once again, recorded as, yeah, both of them just being recorded now. And uh, this is where, it, I mean, you can come back in these like situations. It's just really, uh, it's difficult. really, really difficult. <laughs> I mean, I've managed to do it in a rank game somehow. But like, yeah, it's just really, really difficult, but very good from the clerk uh, in general to, you know, bring it back after such a difficult time. Oh, can they get the, we'll get the hit and that is oh, but that very, is almost primed. Yeah. But she is recording him, so he can't pop or he's going to block the cypher off. Yeah. And now knowing that the uh, clerk is going to come around, it's gonna be very very difficult but although the professor oh he can't actually oh can he get the pop off in time it's the question and he will get the pop off in time so there is gonna be going into end game here and professor needs to try and survive for as long as possible here oh won't get the go flywheel from the professor here as Yep, now they're going to be going down here as... Yeah, um... Now I'm just going to be checking those gates here as... It does genuinely look like the uh, clerk could get, you know, quite an easy 4k here. The thing is, uh... Merc, I'm pretty sure, I hope they did ping where that dungeon was, the professor, since it is behind Shaq. If Merc wants to, they can play the long game and try yeah. to lead out the professor. But the professor did self-pick up. Yeah, self-pick up a little too early, I think. Um, it's, uh, you know, it looks like, yeah, Merc has been recorded there. As, can they get over? Yep, they'll be able to get it over as... <laughs> Yeah, gonna be yeah, just gonna be trying to uh buy as much time as possible for Mercury yeah. to get that game. Yeah, Ooh. very good, very good scale though, uh to buy a little bit of extra time here. And um Oh Yeah, looks like they're gonna be rotating over to Honestly, the factory here. Yeah. Professor might be able to make it to that gate. Yeah, the although the gate once again being oh. yeah. Oh, can Merc not open the gate in time? I know it was nowhere near open. Um, I think, yeah. I mean, the tension is going to be up, but it's not really going to mean much. Although, I think they've actually Merc already lost started them. to leave. Wait, yeah, where Merc did Merc go? Well, Merc is going to the professor. He's going to professor. Yep. Gonna be getting the heel uh -huh. off onto Professor, getting them both back up, and yeah, this is a yeah. Gonna be using that blink here. We'll get the terror shock, and yeah, that's not a. a Professor great... doesn't have to worry about that blink no more. But the problem is, yeah, the Merc is just down. Um, they still they do have a scale ready. Um. We'll, oh, we'll actually um, get the scale off again. Clerk just hey. mistiming that charge attack here. Oh. 
Oh, the slow ball. You know, oh. very good flywheel, who, which that would have hit, I think. So. This professor and these flywheels are on point. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like. The no. Yeah, that's going to be the down, and I imagine they're just going to surrender. Yeah. You know, very good performance from the clerk here, and very good performance from the survivors as well. To honestly, both sides really well there. It was yeah. Oh, look at that S badge clerk as well. It was it was interesting. It was crazy all over the place. Yeah. Um, that whole game was long and crazy but you know i absolutely love it like that um but yeah all the um survivors need is to get at least one person out to try and uh get themselves you know at least a round win uh i think they would probably prefer the tie though as that would put them level on points but i feel like in this situation you will want to at least go for at least you know one person out to at least get that round win and then you can focus then, on the points later but yeah. i imagine they'll want to try and go for the uh the tie here can i just say though that that pef the professor flywheels were just so good this entire match and then those uh the scales as well yeah like, some of the scales, you know, unfortunately didn't really work out for them. I think um, there was only yeah, it was once only like when one. they popped it twice and uh, the hunter didn't swing into it. But besides yeah. that, the rest of the scales just always, they always yeah, landed like, it. Yeah, so like, literally cool. on the verge of perfect. Some of them were just down to the fact that Clerk went for the charge attack and, and kind of like, misread. It. Yeah. But... Still, very good, but um, I, I I call it bubbles because of the fucking like the the the, the accessory. But um, yeah, the scales were very very good, and the uh, lower bands are seer and priestess. So seer and priestess being banned um, is in global bands is interesting. Priestess um, being global band on arms factory it's not the worst i mean but sia being global band is not great um you've basically lost your two most important characters i'd argue of course there's other characters you could easily you know put in place of them but it's whether um I think they're going to be able to pick them in time, and uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be waiting for the Haunter to come on very shortly, as we may be starting the picks and bans soon. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, it, it is absolutely rough, um, and it looks like they're going to be banning Mercenary and Dancer straight away. Uh, mercenary uh, I don't being. I don't blame them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, female dancer on this map can be a nightmare, especially around Factory and Shack. Um, even in you know the mill areas, she can be an absolute nightmare. Uh, mercenary, as per usual, one of the best rescuers. Um, doesn't want to deal with them at this moment. I imagine the. Um, Do they... I was thinking, do they play Dream Witch? I think they do, right? Oh! Uh, you know, I can't remember. I think they do play Dream Witch. I did, I did play against this team in a different tourney, and I don't think they ever pulled out a Dream Witch. Hmm. I mean, if they do bring out a Dream Witch, it's not bad, because this is honestly a good map for her. Yeah. Um, it is easy to kite if you understand how to work against a dream wing. Yeah, so... I'm trying to think. I mean, there is a lot of hunters, though, that would get rid of dream witch that can... I'm uh, not dream witch, get rid of female dancer that can be annoying for them on this map. 
So it's hard to really say what it could be. That's interesting. Uh, just let you see in one of the chats. Is the Dream Witch potential good enough anymore? That's what one person said. In it the really chat. depends because. Yeah. You and know. They, they're going to be picking lawyer and psychologist and they're going to be banning the opera singer. Of course, get that opera out of here. Even after all those nurses, it did nothing. Yeah, um, Antiquarian now being banned away, a uh, very uh, good ban, especially if they, I mean, I don't want to say it's a Dream Witch, but I think they have played Dream Witch in the past, I just don't remember when, but I would imagine that if possible, they should be picking a rescuer now, like a first officer. Or even a gravekeeper. Before it gets locked out. Yeah. Because they did earlier, they banned the merc, and they never uh, locked in that rescuer, so they ended up getting rid of that first officer as well. Yeah. Um... I guess we'll wait and see. So, so far we had a... It was a Merc and Female Dancer ban. Then it was a Lawyer, Psychologist pick. And then it's an Antiquarian ban. Okay, okay. I don't know, there's just a lot of hunters who would ban those characters in general. So it's yeah. hard to like pinpoint what it would be. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna be picking Batter? Batter? Batter gameplay? <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I don't understand why they've gone with Batter. I, I get the... Where's the rescuer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But like, Batter to me doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you really wanted to go with like a... A harasser, four is an option. They might Prospector not have someone an who, plays, uh, who plays those characters. Look. I guess, but they like... They might have someone who plays better. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but again... Yeah, they're going to ban the forward, um, which could mean they are going for, you know, maybe possibly a clerk mirror match and a mechanic? Oh, <laughs> Mechanic... Okay, so mechanic is definitely a like good for ties, I'd say. But like, if the mechanic is found first, it it just could snowball into a huge win for this Hunza here. Um, but yeah, and so they have they have two decoders. Where's the rescuer? <laughs> yeah, where is it? Are they going bat a rescuer? Oh, that. Well, I, I will admit, I don't actually mind a rescue batter, but if they go a rescue psychologist, then I'm wondering what they're truly doing here. No, um, it's, it's, it's clear that they're putting the tie turner on lawyer because he can't get terror shocked, obviously. That's, that's, that's the rescuer right there. I mean, that could be a thing. We could actually <laughs> see possibly to Okay, so we're actually going to see... Yeah, okay, so the batter is going to have tides and everyone else is going to have uh, uh, broken... Wait. You should have just did the rescuer lawyer. Wait. Uh, wait. Batter doesn't have bro borrow time. It's going to be oh, Tide he's and a Flywheel. Batter. It's going to be Flywheel and uh, Tide Turner. So we don't up down build for the uh, Batter here. I mean, honestly, um, they could have just did the Sui Tide and I, Broken Windows was lawyer. I don't, but... I don't <laughs> like that. I'll be honest. I don't really like that. Um, I, I have seen this happen before, though, on a batter. 
Yeah. And for common too on forward. Yeah, I don't um I'm not a I'm not a fan of it to be honest. I mean, um, I personally think they should have did Sui on that lawyer, give the lawyer tied and broken with them. Yeah, that would have actually been a lot better. Like, and even if you don't put tide on them, give them like flywheel broken windows. Um I imagine that the W here, what they're saying, is broken windows. It is windows. Okay, yeah, it is windows, yeah. I mean, um, they could have, to be honest, if they really wanted to put a Sui build on someone, they could put it on Mech. Because Lawyer's Kaiden's already strong. Mech's Kaiden isn't the greatest. Yeah. Uh, so maybe they're just going for Cypher Rosh. That's all I can think what of. What it looks like. Yeah. They want to try and at least you know, get one person out of that gate, I'd imagine. And yeah, it's going to be a Clerk Mirror match, yeah. Um, this actually can work really well for Clerk here. Um, easily just counters the decoders, especially Mechanic as well, because if you have, like, the Mechanic spot um, decoding, literally and you can just... The clerk can record it. Yeah, like... And Maybe. the thing is, too, uh, they're running a Cypher Rush, yes. Clerk counters that. Yeah. She's not going to allow Cypher Rush. Yeah, no, she definitely will not allow it. Um, And yeah, as mentioned before, it is going to be the... Uh, the three Broken Windows and Borrowed Times, and then the batter with that... Up, down, build, the flywheel and the tide. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go, but this is definitely going to be very interesting. It really is, that's for sure. So yeah, let's uh, see where each of them are going to spawn here. Um, it looks like they might be struggling on spawn locations. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, um, this is not a good spawn. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This is this is very weird. Um, the lawyer is definitely going to be the first chase. I can imagine. Definitely, I would not want to chase a batter. Yeah, I mean, unless you're completely insane and want to get rid of the batter first, just in to case. Get rid of the ball. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but it's yeah. not hard to side tip a batter. <laughs> yeah. Um as we are heading into the second half of round two, uh Luo needs a 4k to tie this round. Anything less will be a round win for MB. As no matter what, we're still forcing that third round. Oh yeah, and yeah, it looks like already they're gonna be going for this lawyer here. The thing is, though, with Lawyer, he does have sandbags, which has a lot of walls and stuff. He has his map where he can keep his distance away from that clerk. Yeah. Um, looks like, you know, he is managing to keep the distance really well. We'll, oh, we'll actually record them. Uh, now we'll record the uh, vault there. We'll record that pallet break there. And, oh, oh um... Uh gonna go there straight away and that's gonna be the first hit already onto this lawyer here as um it looks like gonna be yeah not gonna work as <laughs> they were reading their little map as now it looks like oh, we'll actually go over for some reason um i mean I if wouldn't... they wanted the vault to be boost go towards the other window yeah i don't really understand that um we'll be a down onto this lawyer here as now it looks like bassa is gonna try and come in unless the psychologist is coming in skill which it makes sense i guess but realistically I don't know. I, I it's it's all weird to me. Um, yeah, I think we're just trying to process what's going on. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll get the hit onto the psychologist. We'll be rescuing that lawyer, and the lawyer is just gonna go down. Um, good thing you can't get terror shocked, and they are gonna be recording gonna that record the bot. bot. Yeah, and 
Okay, the bot has stopped for a little time. Will be uh, one safer. Yeah, they know exactly where that batter is, I think. They do. They saw batter get behind there. Yeah. Oh, the early flywheel? Waste? Yeah, there's a waste of flywheel. We'll get the hit. Actually, we'll get the... <laughs> Oh my god, that is very unfortunate for all this batter here. And speechless. Yeah, that is. That's, that, that's not a, a good. That's not good for this um, survivor hey, side. Um, our kid moment. Ah, oh, that increased over the barrier. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, and he ended up wasting the ball too in the process. Yeah, wasted the flywheel, wasted a ball. A lot of, a lot of wasted, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just a lot of waste there. Uh, looks like Psychologist is gonna come back in for that rescue. Uh, looks like, yeah, both the me mechanic and the mechanic's bot is gonna be coming in for that, uh, decoding here. Psychologist will be coming in for that rescue. Can they actually get the, uh, Terra Shock here is the question here. Not gonna get it, but it is gonna be... On there, oh, uh, got stuck uh, in the wall. yeah, yeah, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> he was looking behind him a bit too much there. <laughs> yeah, should have just, you know, should have just ran forward, uh, looked forward a bit. Um, we'll be decoding that, I mean, recording that bot here, as uh, now they are probably gonna just heal each other. And Clark doesn't really need to worry about camping that chair now because she knows, like, they're not gonna come for this rescue of anything. Yeah, and with three ciphers remaining, um, this is a really deadlock position. Um, can I get the heal off in time, though? Yeah, they will they be did. able to get the heal off, and I imagine, yeah, me the mechanic is going to be the next chase here. It's a better chase than going after psychologists right now, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, now... Oh, no, they're not going to go after Psychologist. They're still going to go after the mechanic here. They're going to kill the bot. Yep, they're just going to get rid of that bot. Although the bot is uh, still alive. Not oh, anymore. Never mind. He's now, yeah, he's going he's gonna to end up going down. Um, I'm going to be getting oh, the super shock. I'm telling you the clerk hitbox. Yeah, no, Clerk Hitbox is mad. Um, yeah. Uh, the person hunting currently is RV. Uh, right now, it is 7-7. Seven, seven, uh, but soon it will be... I mean, yeah, soon it's going to be 12-7 in favor of... Um, uh, Ravens, right? Yeah, Ravens, yeah. Yeah, going to get that, and... Uh, they, they can all just help, and um, then just go straight back to the psychologist. Yeah, I mean, unless the psychologist can somehow get back, yeah, they will get back up. Um, the thing is, this clerk can dress the floor to chair mech and go for psychologist, and psychologist is half health. There's nothing she can do. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. oh. I don't know. What was I? Gonna, I don't know what I was gonna say. Um. Yeah, it looks like the mechanic will also try and heal back up. Does have tonight's in the area, although it's still moving around. It They're still like... down ciphers, so it doesn't even matter what they do. Yeah. Um. Mark is struggling a bit, though. Yeah, only only a little bit. They will find them very soon, I imagine. Or Eventually. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, um, never although mind. the psychologist is actually gonna... running into the. Uh, she wants Clerk? to keep feeding that tinnitus, oh, and Clark didn't see that. Oh, very, very lucky for this. Uh, Come on, Clark, does that be in a photo? Oh. Yeah, mechanic. Oh, now they see her. Yeah, now they do. Yeah. Can I get that? Oh, not gonna get the hit there. We'll get that last second vault record in here, and yeah, they're, they're gonna go down here. And I imagine they might teleport away. Although, actually, no. Um, your mechanic as 
opened another chest there. Where they've got elbow pads from the first chest they opened here. But, um, yeah, already we're going to be seeing the uh, mechanic being chased here, in which it is most likely going to be a 4K. Going to be trying to gain a little more distance so that there could be the possibility they might actually try to heal this psychologist. Heal or, the psychologist. Yeah, with how the clerk is, yeah, going to be a... Oh, going to be a missed hit from the clerk, but now that's going to be the down, and I assume we're going to be seeing a surrender coming out from the MB survivors. We will be seeing that third round. Oh, or did not get a surrender, just going to have them chair. Yeah, I guess so. Um... It's like, are they? Yeah, now nah, they're gonna find them, and yeah, now nah, they're gonna be surrendering. As it is now 12 to 7 in favor of Ravens, round two has tied, as we're gonna be moving on to the third round, where I believe the, um, the condition here is if the Ravens Hunter does 4k, then no matter what, MB can't win. Yeah. It's pretty much it ends there. Yeah, I don't know about if it if a three k would as well. I think uh, maybe, but well, the thing is, right? If MB happens to like, I don't know, manage to get a four man escape or manage to get like the the four man elimination, that mm -hmm. puts them back to being tied with points. Yeah. But I, if they, uh, it honestly depends on, like, who goes first and how it would play out. Yeah. Um, if MB happens to hunt again uh, first, which I don't think they're hunting again first. They okay, yeah, okay, I've done the maths. So if it's a 3k or 4k, no matter what, Ravens will win. Okay. Um, but if it's a 2k, then there's the chance it could go to a fourth round, just based on points. So... Um, well, we have to keep in mind, too, that they both still have to play, like, you know, yeah. their hunters. So, yeah. if anything, it really depends on, like, how the survivors and hunters perform in the points. Because then, if anything, um, the survivor side may get a tie, but then all of a sudden, their hunter 4Ks. Yeah. Um, that that'll... Them that win in that round. Yeah, and then that'll go to round four, I think. No, they automatically win by rounds. Do they? Yeah. Oh, wait, are we talking about the Ravens Hunter? Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, I, Raven, I thought you were about the MB Hunter MB, for a second. I was going to say. If MB manages, then I think we can. I think we'll push into a fourth round. Yeah, yeah. What, what I'm saying is like MB Hunter Unless, against fourth. Yeah, yeah. It, I think we only go into a fourth round though if the points are still tied up. I'm not, yes. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was like saying before. But I'm if, saying it, if Ravens manages, you know, if they happen to get a, uh, a, a tie, 4K, and then yeah. They're like if they tie their hunter ties or something, then their hunter, their survivors manage to like get a four man escape or something. Yeah. And it, it, either way, they take the round. Yeah. I mean, e either way, it's all in their hands. So. But MB still has a chance to have a comeback. Yeah. I mean, MB came back from a similar situation against uh, WC. So. Um, I believe it was a win in round one for WC, and then it was a tie in round two, and then they won the third round, got it over to a round four, I think. I don't remember. Um, and then they ended up winning based off time. But again, I don't really remember if that's what happened exactly. Um, but no, sorry, no. They won on round three, yeah. Um, Normally, you're not supposed to do damn on the third round. Hmm.
So what maps? They're left with, I believe. I believe it's Lakeside and Chinatown. Lakeside, Chinatown, Sacred Art, and another one. Forgot which one it is. Uh, so what were the ones of a band? Hold on. So. Ever it, sleeping? Oh, moon, moonlit still available. Moonlit as well. is still available. Moonlit. Yes, moonlit is still available. Yes. People forget about um, that map existing. It doesn't get picked enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I remember playing a tournament with my team. Uh, we literally just pick moonlit every time. Like it's literally so broken for survivors. Like if you just, especially if you use that roller coaster. Oh, so definitely. Broken. Um. So who? Okay, so they banned Chinatown. Okay. Um, Chinatown. <laughs> well, I imagine they could actually pick a Sacred Heart map here. Um, I imagine that is what they should pick, since Hospital is so good for the survivors. As well as maybe... Oh, they're going to pick Moolip. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We got a Moolip game. Let's go. Even though barely anyone plays Moonlit. Um... And they're going to be going Hunter first, so yeah, they really want to end this game, I think. They want it over with. Although... Oh, is it? I I'm think it is Hunter sure. first. I'm pretty sure, though, I think they might just let... Uh, who's going Hunter first? Ravens, right? Yeah, Ravens, yeah. Because if anything, if the Hunter manages the 4K, I think MB... Oh, it looks like... Oh, they're going Survivors first, actually. The Terrace first? Yeah, they're going survivors first. Yeah, so it looks like MB Hunter is going, uh, going next. Okay. So yeah, um, essentially the win condition really for Ravens is to get at least three people out, and then they'll just win on points, even if the uh, um, the survivors do get a four man escape from MB. So I think. Yeah, I think that, yeah. Alright, so we're going to be seeing what the uh, two bands are going to be. It's going to be Priestess and Sia. Um, as per usual, they are... Uh, yeah. Well, of course, you want to get rid of Priestess on Moonlight. Mm. Too strong on this map. Don't allow her out. And then Seer. It's just Seer. <laughs> yeah, the thing literally. Is, though, with Seer, after his buff... I don't feel like he's as strong to use, not his buff, his nerf. He's not as yeah. strong as he used to be because his owl for when it comes to supporting his teammates, uh, the hunter gets a faster recovery. Yeah. Oh, this is actually very interesting. They've actually um, picked Toy Merchant and Embalmer. Embalmer, really good at getting ties. Uh, Toy Merchant, also, you know, pretty decent on this pretty map. Strong on this map, if you and the right they banned the team. Opera Singer and the Bloody Queen. Um, I think this is a really good ban for the Bloody, for like a really good Bloody Queen ban here. Uh, Bloody Queen on this map is a lot better than Clerk. Um, you can literally just cl you can literally just kite Clerk anywhere on this map. Clerk doesn't and really do too well. BQ, she can pretty much just mirror across that bridge. Yeah, literally. Um, I imagine that now. Who would he ban here? Is the question. I imagine they should maybe. I don't know. Maybe go for a a forward ban again. Yeah, there you yeah, go. I'm not <laughs> there you that go. Out. Yeah. Um. I imagine they still could wildling. Oh, yes. So yes. Wildling on this map They're doing is the wildling and bulber. Yeah, the wildling is actually pretty good on this map. Um. Wildling is just someone you do not want to chase at all on this map. Literally, just kite loops around you. Yeah. I know from experience because my team likes to run this comp sometimes or mm. run a, a wildling and right. have the bomber on the team at the same time and it yeah. just works out beautifully yeah the only again the only hunter i think you know that um this hunter can really pick now night watch 
They're the only things I can really think of at the moment. They're going to be banning can... Acrobat. Actually, very good ban here. Um, yeah. Acrobat, you don't want to let out on Moonlit at all. Um, especially around Fourth Coaster, he's just... You know, yeah, you can't literally kite him anywhere from First Coaster to uh, Fourth Coaster. So now we're going to be seeing what the final pick will be. And it's going to be patient. Yeah, so again, pretty good for this situation where you'll want to, you know, get at least a tie, right? Yeah. You don't want to give the MB Hunter a 4k at all. Um, and... Well, it looks like someone uh, does not like the idea of playing in Bormer. <laughs> so, what what they could do in this situation is that uh, they could spawn in Bormer at first stop to set up a coffin there. And right. then have someone spawn second stop, which would most likely be that toy merchant. Because they can set up a catapult that launches you the first stop and have them push the button. Right, yeah. Because then if anything, if a bomber gets first chase, he can take roller coaster all the way to third and have that coffin across the map just in case if the hunter still chooses to chase him across the map. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, that will definitely be uh, very good in that situation where at that point you could easily just press that button go all the way back to first coaster let's just send it all the way i'm quite excited to see how they play this out and i can't wait to see what the hunter decides to go yeah um what are we interested to see who the hunter picks naiad could work to deal with uh that y link because i'm pretty yeah. sure uh it pops it still deals damage to y link the uh, mm. the water once they pop so that's where the counter y link I mean, Nightwatch maybe could also work as well, but, you know, a little more annoying if you are having to, you know, deal with that wobbling, but... And I'm pretty sure Patient actually can hook out of being, uh, out of the win. Yeah. And um, you can't really suck a toy merchant when they're flying in the air. Unless you're on the same elevation in which that genuinely True. takes a lot of skill, but... Uh, they're gonna pick Nightmare. Ooh. They're picking Nightmare. Oh, oh my god, what? Nightmare. You get to see your Nightmare. <laughs> Why? This is awful for Nightmare. Nah, there's no way he's picking Nightmare. This is ridiculous. I feel silly, they say. <laughs> he's not gonna win. I, I can't believe her. That's why they went Nightmare. What? Well, then... <sighs> I don't want to say they're stupid, but they're stupid. Like, <laughs> why would you go for a nightmare? I mean, on this map, he can work, right? If you're up against the right composition, it can work. And if if you want my honest opinion, you need to have teleport on him, especially no, if you if you need like you need to have that double teleport. Um, the thing is, though, I think. Nightmare, if anything, if he locks onto that wine link, he can uh, dash off to him before he gets on the board. Yeah, it looks like Toy Magic just spawned on the last coaster. It looks like Patient... Oh, uh, they don't know what to do. Maybe they're a little bit confused. Um, maybe, Come on, I don't guys, know. I gave you a setup. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nightmare's just going to spawn over in second coaster. Um... Okay, this is coming from, like, a fucking A-Badge Nightmare in previous seasons, right? Against this comp, it can somewhat work. But, like, you have to run up, down, teleport. You cannot run anything else, in my opinion. Even insolence would not work against this team. So, like, Ooh. I feel like the best option here... They learn from the first nightmare. This is going to be fun. Um, oh, I don't know. This is going to be interesting as we got to go into the third round, first half. I hope I'm wrong and he does get a 4K. Well, um, we'll see. Yeah, it, it's going to be very uh, tough for him, but it looks like he is going to be going for that toy merchant. Boy, uh, I think he already set up a catapult actually to get to that roller coaster. 
Yeah, and... And they can just fully glide there and just take it. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, Toy Merchant just gonna easily, um... Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, they've got the teleport, yeah, so as I expected, um... They're gonna be taking the coaster over to the second coaster here, as I think it looks if like... Toy Merchant wants to, she can get off and set up a catapult to get across. They yeah. actually oh no, they actually got a third coaster! Oh. oh yeah, no, Wildling would have actually managed to get the oh, second coaster going, over yeah. And push it, yeah. Yeah. Um, looks like they are gonna go for Embalmer now. Um... Although, yeah, looks like the Embalmer has, uh... Has a crow on him, so he can, like, mind you. I really yeah. think, though, that a Wildling should never push the button if he did, because the fact that that roller coaster could have been saved there for Embalmer to go to. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is the thing with uh, Nightmare. You get stuck on that little bit, and it's just not uh, good for you. We'll get the hit at the very least, but... Yeah, it looks Trying like it will... Die. I imagine this will be a down. Away. Yeah, there you go. That'll be the down here, and I don't imagine he'll use his uh, coffin just yet. So one cypher's been popped. Uh, the other two cyphers over at roughly 50% here. So, not too bad in terms of decoding, and not too bad in terms of Nightmare getting his first chair, at the very least, as it looks like, um, the Toy Merchant is act no, sorry, the Wildling's actually gonna come in for that, uh, rescue here. They are gonna try to, uh, hold on to the, uh, coffin then, because they know this, uh, Nightmare is most likely carrying teleport, and there was no yeah. point for him the coffin knowing that, uh, there's still a cipher near his coffin. Yeah. Can I get the hit? Yep, they will get the hit onto this wildling here. Now we're gonna be heading back to that embalmer here. We'll get the last effort, and I imagine we'll be uh using that coffin very soon. Although may not actually use the coffin. They're trying to push the cipher so where he could use the coffin. Yeah. Um The thing is, too, it was a smart call for Wyland to hop off the board when he did, so he can take that damage to the rescue, but also to save the time on his board where he's not on a, a long course. Oh, yeah, and the Wyland actually did take the, uh... And there's no bird for him, though? No, we'll get it. Oh! Yeah, that, so, that was actually yeah. really good. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> a thing, a good thing that at least the, uh... The good old Nightmare can do here. Um... Or at least, yeah, running up down bling as expected. We'll get the body block from Patience. Well, and... Patience, why? Where did he get the... My yeah, brain. Uh, he was yeah, nowhere I'm... behind him and he still took the hit. Yeah, um, that's the thing. We'll get the hit onto the Embalmer now. And Embalmer, uh, gonna be dead on chair here. As it looks like this will be a tie at the very least. So, it's not the, it's not the worst result because at least then... The um, survivors will have to get everyone out, but... And I think the Toy Merchant moved off a cipher, so he yeah. wouldn't see where they were decoded. Yeah, um, either way, the se they sent the crow out to that cipher there, and uh, I imagine they're going to be going after the Wildling, I guess? Wildling's trying to take that kite. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you can somewhat afford to chase a wildling as long as they don't go too far out. In well, which... he also has his double dash now to make up a bit of distance. Yeah, uh, again, not really going to be working out here since wildling is just a pain. We'll get the first hit at the very least. Patient, actually, I think he should have switched to patient. I think if you can... S yeah, I mean, they're going to need to switch to patient. Like, they shouldn't realistically be... Um, going for here because, yeah again uh, this is this is exactly why i don't think picking nightmare is a good idea you could just get stuck on like silly little things like that it's just we'll get the hit at the very least but the pipe cypher is gonna be popped and the uh toy merchant is within the area we'll actually send one of the crows over to the uh gate over at four coaster and now if they the get this wildling down wildling needs to uh hold off till he can get his four yeah, and it looks like the Toy Merchant actually is staying around, um, so that the 
they can get a backdoor rescue off, but even then, the backdoor rescue... Uh, you gotta hope that he doesn't, like, place a crow on there. They're most likely gonna do a crow on the chair before teleporting. Yeah, we'll get that teleport off, and now, oh. gonna be a very good hook from this uh, patient here, as... And they can actually teleport back! Yeah, this is actually a very good situation now for this uh, nightmare. A little bit of um, good awareness, but again, yeah, this uh, boy merchant can easily out make, into the make it. Nah, not enough. Um, They're playing this close. <laughs> yeah, it, it is really close at the moment, but right now, um, they're just going to try and make their way over. We'll get that hit onto this toy merchant here. Patient will just get out of there. And that is going to be the 3k. So, a little bit unfortunate from the survivors. Um, I could definitely see what they were trying to go for here. Trying to at least get that free uh, man escape. But it turned into a free kill. Which um, is now, right? has put MB in a very good position. Um, uh, what's the points looking like? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't oh. actually remember. Um, I mean, we'll 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 see on the sh stream very soon, anyway. Um, so pretty much, I think at this point, if Ravens want to win, they need their hunter to four K. Yeah, at the very least, or at least get a free K. Um, okay, so it's thirteen to ten. So well, I think they don't really need a four K. I think they can take. So they still ha they're still ahead of points by. Ravens, I don't know what this is. So MB needs to at least get. No, they need for yeah, all four out. Yeah, um, they yeah, they'll need all four out to actually win the game. Okay. Anything less, it's um going to be a Ravens win no matter what. Okay, so they just need a one kill. Okay, to win. Yeah, literally a one kill to win. So just so don't let him get the one kill. <laughs> oh, let me use it. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm surprised that... I mean, they did do the right thing in bringing the up-down teleport build. Like... I just feel like their spawn locations were... kind of off at that point. Yeah, it, it was a bit off. And um, with roller coaster not being left at second stop... Hmm... Alright, so are they going to do the... I imagine they are. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Alright, uh...
So it looks like the uh Yeah, Lawyer Insight is the uh loyal bands here. Uh let's see your priest is like Yeah. What do you mean, why do I hate Nightmare? He's the worst hunter in the game. And this is coming from someone who used to play Nightmare religiously. <laughs> religiously? That's crazy, honestly. I tried to play Nightmare. I didn't like how I got stuck on everything. Yeah, like... He's just not good. And it looks like it is going to be a toy merchant barmaid ban. And it's going to be a little girl in Borma pick? In Borma makes sense, little girl? So the thing with Little Girl, what's good about her is that she can teleport across the map to help support if needed. And she can sink the teammates to decode faster. If I guess yeah. right on the last cipher. That's yeah. the only good side of Little Girl. Yeah, it's the only really good the real good side. But I the mean... problem is if LG has no pages when she comes in for support, what's the Prisoner support ban is and a guard in the pit. What is going on? Yeah, we're, also, where's the hunter bands? <laughs> where are they gone? Well, uh, no hunter bands? Is there just none? Like, is, is Opera Singer gonna come out again? What? What's going on? Clerk Opera. There you go. They're just gonna pick the Bully Queen. I, I can already smell it. <laughs> They're just gonna pick the Bully Queen. I see Mirror from across the map. <laughs> Literally. Um, yeah, Clerk Opera Singer. Uh, yeah, but the Garner pick is, um, strange. Very strange. I guess these are just comfort picks. This is all I can really think of to try and, like, play to the absolute ability in which they would need a 4k. They're gonna ban the mechanic. Yeah, banning straight away the, the you know, the survivors that could, you know, maybe get them a four man, I guess. I don't I don't know. Uh I I guess little girl is good in comms, but I don't know. There's, I just there's... feel like there's better options. Yeah, that's just all it is. There's better options out there. Um, Hermit could actually be a really good pick here. They only need one kill. Yeah. And Hermit, as someone who plays Hermit, um, and they're gonna pick Prospector. Okay. Um, Prospector's not too bad actually. Uh, I feel like Acrobat would have been a little better, but Prospector is a fine choice nevertheless. And uh. Yeah, that was just straight up denied. Looks like Hermit is not going to be played here. Um... Watch them go like Helen Bear or something. If they go, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we'll see a Mad Eyes next, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, turns out uh, VB is just going to be jumping because looks like Hermit is not going to be picked. They really love Hermit. Uh, they always uh, come to me about how uh, they love Hermit so much. <laughs> but, I mean, <sighs> Hermit isn't really too weak. I actually it's kind of disagree with Luo here. It's more Her like to the fact that Hermit struggles yeah. at the start of the game. Until he gets presents, that's why you see a lot of Hermits run insolence nowadays. Yeah. But the thing is, even with him getting that first presence, you can bait out his teleport and he's on a long cooldown after that. Yeah, that's the thing. His, um, he is definitely weak in the, in the early game, but if he does end up snowballing the, um, the, you know, in the early game, he can be absolutely insane. Oh no, definitely. Uh, no, that's not their hunter, surely. No, they're not. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, wait a second, where did the hell Ember come from? Um, 
but undead. Oh my it's god! It's undead. Okay, um, this is actually really a good good for them. Um, undead is. <laughs> oh my god! Undead is gonna teabag everyone. <laughs> undead is basically the only hunter you could realistically go with if you want a one kill. Undead should not be winning games, which is exactly why I think they have gone for this. They don't need to win this round. They don't need to win this round. They just need to get a point and then they win the game. Like Yay. no matter what. Oh my god. It's... All right. Let's, let's see how this goes. Yeah. So, um, shit. I mean, I mean, if they 4K. If they 4K, then it's I'm just a mockery here. at that point. It's a mockery. Like, <laughs> the entire list is fucked. You but, see, here's um, the thing, right? They have a Prospector on their team. Prospector can't stun on dead once he reaches that certain point. Oh my god, yeah. I literally forgot about that. Oh my god. Um... They can't stun him. And keep in mind, this map doesn't have much stuff to work with when it comes to Kaiden. They really need to rely on pallets. And once he hits that 50%, little girl, you're not doing nothing. Prospect, yeah. you're not doing nothing. Wait, they run pallets... a suicide build as well. Hold on a second. Oh, who's running? Wait, little girl's running a suicide build. Uh, oh, hold on. So I've got it. So it, for little girl, it's going to be Windows Firewheel, Emborma Windows Firewheel, Prospector win Flywheel Borrow Time, and then Garner Tide and Windows. They all <laughs> going, just went there you're going all out on this. <laughs> oh my god. I hope someone has a healing build. I, 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 I don't know. But, um, yeah, all Luo needs is a single kill to win them the game. As we are going to be heading into the second half of round three, the Percy pick, um, it, it came out. I, I don't know what, I don't know how it happened, but it came out. And, um, yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, and there's an embalmer. You're yeah. forced to embalm and you go down. Yeah, and they're gonna go I mean, straight. They're gonna go straight for the gardener. This is and uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. we'll get the. Oh, doesn't actually they tried drop, to drop down. down. Yeah, didn't drop down in time. As uh, now they're at that fifty percent mark. Yeah. Tries to go for that slam. Doesn't get that slam. And. Now, can they get the... Oh, not going to go for the drop down here. We'll actually go for this hit here. And that is going to be the first hit straight away onto this Gardner here. As Gardner going to be trying to go for that bubble. We'll get that bubble off at the very least. But... Um, he doesn't need to break pallets normally. He's at 50%. He can break them. Yeah, and... Uh, oh, good juke, actually. But that's not... Oh. And... Uh, oh, my God. The Garner is going to go down, and, um... Oh... Oh, lordy. Um... Looks like Prolord has actually, um... Did the, uh... The second coaster button there. Um... And it looks like they are going to be going straight for that Embalmer now. And Embalmer going to be, uh... There's no escape in your fate, Embalmer. Just accept it. Yeah, um... Gonna get the hit here right about now. Oh, good oh, flywheel from the fly baller, wheel. actually. Um, but they are gonna get that next hit. Oh, they actually brought teleport as well. They're just yeah. gonna teleport back, yeah. And Gardner just self-picked up, so he has the vision to see her. Yeah. All the way back down to zero, however. We'll get that, um, bubble off, but... Yeah, the bubble is about to go out right about now. And there you go. Oh, gonna get the pallets on to the Percy at the very least. Three ciphers now remaining. And, um... Yeah, this is... It looks like Lil Girl's actually gonna try and help. Will be helping. Uh, can they get the... Oh, does get the stone. Um, but... 
It's not so really we're gonna, gonna try to keep her from uh, throwing the pallet down. <gasps> oh! Oh my I god! Oh, that was you so LG close. can't do they, nothing. They could have vaulted. I think they could have actually no, vaulted. They could have. <laughs> I think they could have. Um, after that animation ended, it did take like a little bit, and they could have done that little fast vault there and possibly gone for something. Yeah, they do see that prospector. You can't do better for the gates. This oh. failed flywheel, unfortunately. And um, they're trying now... to keep an eye to make sure they don't pick up that gardener. Yeah. We'll go for the uh, charge attack there. Oh, just a, just a smackdown onto that, um... Oh... Oh my oh god! Oh my god! This is why I hate Percy. <laughs> Percy is a menace, man. No, because you think that's not gonna slam down on you. You think you're good. He think he like curves. Man curves that. Yeah, and that's gonna be, yeah. Oh, go oh, flywheel, flywheel but, but that's, that's gonna be the down, and every single one of them are down. Embalmer has Embalmer to try and come in for this uh, heal onto the Garner here, and Garner will get healed at the very least, but... Oh, God, Garner. Gardner, no! <laughs> oh, they got out of that, but... They got out of that, um, they managed to get out of it, but like, they are they gonna bubble. try and... They're not gonna try and heal. We'll actually break that uh, bubble in the very end, but I am very unsure as to why they've uh, gone for that here. And they get, oh, they ma do manage to get out of it at the very least here. And uh, looks like little girl is actually gonna just teleport away. And yep, yeah, oh, not gonna get the hit actually, but um, yeah. There we go, there's the down, and there's the 1k that uh, Lumo needed. So we are going to be seeing Ravens win this game. But right now, I mean, this has, been, <laughs> this has been chaos. I mean, little girl, I believe, can't still pick up no more, and neither can Prospector, unless one of them picked each other up. No, I think um, they can't pick each other up. I think they've all just used their... Uh, Self heals and um, Bomber still has that self heal. Prospector, what is this man doing? And he is dead. Um, kind of walked into Percy there. Very unfortunately, Please. just gonna go down that slide. Um, for a little extra effect there. And um, yeah, right now, um, the last round has been full of silly hunters. We've seen a nightmare. We've seen an undead. Um, it's the fact though that it's Nightmare 4K, I think, right? Or no, he 3K'd. 3 they yeah, still 3K'd. Yeah, that is true. Which is pretty yeah. good. And now we've had to watch Percy pull something off. Yeah, and the Prospect has actually been healed by the little girl, actually. So, um, going to be interesting. Can they get the... No, they can't. Too far away, unfortunately. As it looks like the Embalmer um, kind of went into him a little bit there. But now, can he... Yeah, this is going to be the hit. Oh, oh, oh the early the flywheel, flywheel. But, oh, did actually miss that dash there. But we'll get that hit onto the Embalmer as Embalmer is going to use his coffin. Um, but it looks like he's not really too bothered about the coffin, I don't think. I think he's just checking to see if anyone is, like, uh, decoding here. Going to be going over and now... Both little girl and prospect, I mean, in Bormer are in the area. Actually, they didn't, yeah, they didn't teleport away. Um, which just gives a bit of time for in Bormer to heal off, at the very least. Will stun the Percy. Um, probably the only stun you're going to give Percy here, as now a good flywheel to try to get out of that uh, range. One Cypher now remaining, as it looks like they're actually going to be uh, going right over to the prospector here. Um... Prospector, uh, um, gonna be leeched as, like, can they get the hit? They will get the hit, and I believe they, yeah, the little girl's gonna try and body block as much as they can, as the is gonna come from behind to, uh, decode that one cypher that they were doing before, which is on 25%, so. Prospector's dead on this down, though. I th yeah, I think he is. Good dodge in there. Um, would have done absolutely nothing there, as now the little girl is down. As now, 
Yeah, you're just gonna go for the um, uh, B. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's down. And now, I don't believe they can pick themselves up either as Prospector, the only man left alive, the only man with the borrow time as well. I wonder if he's going to try and uh, borrow some time here. <laughs> anyway, oh shit. Anyway, um, we're going to be, yeah, he's now down. And um, that is going to be the 4K coming from the undead. And Wait, LG's at 95. Wait, what? LG has self pickup. No, they don't. No? No, they don't. They were really close to getting back up there, but yeah, little girl's gonna go down, Yay. and there you go. It is gonna be a win for the Ravens as they will move on to face off against HCN. So that matchup is gonna be quite exciting. Um, as in the upper brackets at the very least, we are going to be seeing our four teams left in the upper bracket, uh, which is CPDD, ADM, Ravens, and Halcyon. So, uh, yeah, what did you think of that? Uh, well, I got to say that <laughs> I was not expected any Percy today, to be honest. <laughs> Blew my mind, but they played... They knew what they needed. They said, if uh, we need that one kill, all right, I want to go Percy. And you know yeah. what? They ended up with a 4K in the end. Yeah, and even then, the nightmare. <laughs> the, 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 the 3K. Boy. I mean... You over here like, oh, it's a nightmare. It's a bad hunter. Can get some I mean, three it, he's a bad like, hunter. Like, I, well, I'm not wrong when I say that, but they did manage to play it really well, which is kind of what you really need. Did. Like, which is kind of what you need, the yeah. That could have most likely got away with winning against. Yeah. All right. I think that's it for the matches, right? I believe so, yeah. I think that's the only match uh, today. And we'll probably have our matches next week. Don't know when, but. Yeah, uh, anything else you want to say before we go? Oh, uh, well, you know, congrats to Ravens for uh, winning. GG's to both teams for uh, today. Y'all performed really well. It was like neck to neck. The fact that you even pushed it into a third round was crazy. Mm. But uh, this great job overall to everyone. Yeah, and from me, uh, again, brilliant job to everyone. Thank God we got a nightmare. Let's go. Uh, Still no surprised, mind, <laughs> surprised, admittedly, at the result of that. But, um, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we will be seeing you in the next matchups uh, next week.